Hi guys, welcome back to McCartney's Nonsense. How are you all? Um, I do apologise, it has been quite some time since I last put up a video. I've been doing an awful lot of stuff for my other channel, Vape Don't Smoke. Um, so I've not really had a chance to do much on this one and I kind of took a little break from the booze. Uh, so I've not really done a lot of drinking and uh, therefore a lot of the stuff that I've got in for review I've not been able to do. But it is Friday now, it's a, I've had a hell of a week. Very, very tired, um, working hard of course, uh, so like everybody, it's Friday afternoon so I'm going to have myself a little bit of a brewski. Um, I saw this in Morrison's, um, it was 195 I think it was, and it was a beer that I've actually had before, I think, and I really enjoyed it, and it is a banana bread beer. Um, so yeah, if you guys have tried this before, or have you seen it in Morrison's and you wondered what it was, uh, it's certainly something that kind of jumps out at you. It certainly jumped out at me. Um, uh, guys, I, I was doing a little bit of research for it, and I, it says ale. Long ago, ale used to be known as liquid bread. Um, so yeah, so uh, they've used that. This company is called Eagle Brewery uh, that made this, and they say on their website that they've got a long history of creating the finest malts, blends. Uh, adding bananas to awaken the senses, etc, etc. Um, so they've made this beer with their fair trade bananas. Tempting banoffee aromas and flavours are balanced by the silky richness of the masterful malt blend. Just wonder if it's a nice beer. Um, so yeah, they say you can pair it up with cheesecake, uh, chocolate desserts, nuts and jerk beef. <laughs> Um, I might get a Chinese tonight, actually. I don't know. I'm supposed to be on a diet. Uh, guys, this is 5.2% alcohol, and it's got 500 ml of booze in this bottle. Um, so a little bit short of half a pint. Uh, sorry, a little bit short of a pint. Uh, um, and yeah, it's pretty much telling you the exact same stuff on the back. 2.6 UK units is in this bottle and it expires March 31st, 2021. So we do have plenty of time. So I'm gonna pop it open using a bottle opener, funnily enough. Uh, this one is a little camper van. Don't know where it came from, but it's a fridge magnet type. It, you know, just smelling it reminds me of banana bread. It's funnily enough, because it's a banana bread beer, so you, but it does smell like banana bread. So we'll get it poured. I'm doing that now in case you can't see. Uh, so yeah, just a little bit shy of a full pint, guys. You can't really argue with that. Um, not much of a head on it. If there was more of a head on it, it would probably you would probably just think it's a full pint and not have any problems with it. Uh, but yeah, this is just a pint tumbler. Um, little tanker glass, you can see the colour of the beer, it's quite dark, quite, um, quite ailey, you know, like at the old ale, um, back in the kind of Peaky Blinders days, if you watch Peaky Blinders, the beers are always really, really dark, um, not an awful lot of, um, crystallisation, I think they call it, going on with the beer, little pops going up, uh, you know, smelling it, it smells like those little um, banana sweets that you get. You know, the little yellow banana sweet candies, um, spongy sweets. I'm actually excited about this one, guys. Cheers. <laughs> um, yeah. It's weird. It is weird. It's kind of like, um, it's uh, it's hard to explain. Hold on one minute. There's almost, almost two sides to it. So, at the first, the first start of the drink, you're getting a freshness to it. There's a little bit of hoppiness going on there as well. Um, so it's kind of making you kind of go like that, you know, a little bit of hoppy at the start. And then you almost get to the halfway point and it just becomes um, 
like a banana, uh, not not milkshake, but banana. Uh, it's like a. Oh, that's hard to explain. It's more like a banana kind of caramelly sauce. Um, not overly strong banana. You know, it's like banana bread beer. You're not. It's not. The hoppiness and the 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 ale flavours at the start are stronger than the second half of the drink. Um, but it is certainly there. You know, if you blindfolded me and gave it to me without me knowing and asked me what am I tasting, I would say kind of something to do with bananas. Um, so it's definitely there. Uh, it's a fresh beer. It does actually taste... The, the start of it gives you that kind of, you know, freshness, the hoppiness, the kind of ale, and then the second half is more of a dessert pudding. Because of that second half, I don't think I could have more than one. It is almost quite sweet. Um, I think I would probably get a little bit sickening. Um, you know, you couldn't go, I, I couldn't sit and drink six of these and have a night of it. You know, it, it is a beer that you have maybe with your, with your pudding after a dinner. Uh, I certainly wouldn't say I could sit and get drunk drinking these beers because the sweetness I think would become too overpowering. Um, it's very, very tasty. Yeah, hoppiness, and then you get the banana. Hopefully that's the best way of describing it. You're almost getting two halves. Right at the start, it's, it's fresh, it's fizzy, it's hoppy. Then the second half, you're getting that kind of banana caramel sauce, cream, pie, almost at the end. Um, sweetness, though. The sweetness is something that you would have to... It's quite heavy, uh, so you would probably, I would probably struggle to drink more than one, uh, but I certainly will enjoy this one. Uh, so yeah, uh, guys, I picked this up from Morrison's. It cost me no more than a couple of quid um, for basically a pint um, of this beer. Uh, so yeah, a pint bottle, 500 mil. What's a pint? 575 mil or something like that. Uh, you saw it when I poured it into the pint glass. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad I got it definitely would recommend trying it if you haven't tried it and you like banana bread of course if you don't like bananas don't like banana bread don't like banoffee pie don't like banana caramel none of that then stay away from it it's really not for you but if you do it's worth the two quid guys thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the video take care stay safe and i'll see you on the next one